We're not sure where to begin with the Palo Automobiles Intensa Emozioni, or IE for short. Do we start with the sharp, almost butcher cleave angles and downforce generators? Or do we start with the massive naturally aspirated V12 engine? What about the almost comic book movie interior? We're just not sure. It's a supercar that causes your eyes to dance from surface to surface trying to comprehend the visual onslaught Apollo engineered. Let's dive in. The Apollo I is built by many of the same people behind the Gumpert Apollo. The Gumpert used an Audi sourced 4. 2 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine and was a supercar built around one main principle downforce. When the people behind the Apollo made the decision to return, the company seemingly took that emphasis on downforce and amplified it in the IE. According to Apollo, the Apollo IE embarks on a new chapter to ground an intensively striking design language that symbolizes the brand. Quote, the body is said to narrate how air should naturally flow around a car. That said, the entire car has been sculpted to produce staggering amounts of downforce. When Gumpert debuted the Apollo, the company stated that it had enough downforce to drive upside down. The IE likely can as well as it produces over 3. 000 pounds of downforce at 186 miles per hour. It's a race car driver's wet dream. The chassis consists of a carbon fiber monocoque with carbon front and rear subframes. The car's entire spine weighs a scant 231 pounds. With the car's total weight coming in at a few hundred pounds under 3. 000. Connected to the chassis and subframes is a Formula One inspired suspension with full push rod and rocker arm architecture. Twin adjustable anti roll bars are included, as well as adjustable Bilstein source dampers with three different drive modes comfort, sport, and auto. Customers will also be able to further customize their suspension setup with personal tuning and modification for each client. There is also an electro-hydraulic lift system for curbs and speed bumps. Apollo stated that the development of the suspension system was designed to achieve maximum performances, but also carry a targeted level of refinement in order to provide a capable, yet reliable driving experience. Brakes are handled by a bespoke set of carbon ceramic Brembos with six piston calipers at the front. Four piston calipers at the rear, while tires are a special set of Michelins designed to allow the IE to achieve lateral G forces in excess of 2 grams. Quote, now, let's get to the good part the IE's engine. Apollo says the IE uses a 6 3 liter naturally aspirated V12 engine co developed with Auto Technica Motori. Given that Auto Technica is just a hop, skip, and jump away from Modena. We believe that the V12 is a Ferrari-derived engine, likely the same engine that was found in the F12, and is currently being used in the Ferrari GTC4 Lasso. In Apollo guys, however, it produces 780 horsepower and 560 pounds-feet of torque, and has a 9.000 RPM redline, according to the company. The IE's engine has three distinct engine modes, including wet, sport, and track, that can be accessed through the car's main display. Coupled to the IE's V12 engine is a Hewland sequential six-speed gearbox with rev matching and fully interchangeable gear ratios. The gearbox itself is operated through an electro-pneumatic paddle shift action that provides lightning-fast gear changes. The gearbox then sends that power to the rear wheels alone through a Pankel Racing Systems differential. The interior is as wild as the car's exterior and method of propulsion. Inside the teardrop cabin are two fixed-position race seats with four-point Apollo-branded harnesses. Like other supercars and hypercars with fixed seats, the pedal box moves, and each seat will be custom-built for each owner. The cabin itself is sparse and features only two materials, leather and carbon fiber. The dash and display resemble that of a fighter jet, 
angling all information toward the driver who operates everything through a C-shaped steering wheel reminiscent of a current prototype racer. Now comes the brass tacks. Apollo states that the IE will have a hyper-limited run of just 10 cars, and each car can be customized to the nth degree by its owners. The price tag starts at $2.7 7 million, but given the amount of customization available, that number is likely to increase by the time you've SPECD your perfect IE. Customers will also be enrolled in the company's own time attack program held on Europe's most relevant racing circuits and will be given priority to order the IE's future sibling. The Arrow, which is scheduled for debut in 2019. According to Apollo, we felt that all the technological advancement and automation in today's supercars took away the pure, raw emotional connection between driver and car, said Norman Choi. Apollo's chairman, in a release, we wanted to build a car that would fill that void separating car and driver. So we built the Apollo IE. Quote, we can't wait to get behind its funky wheel. Source Apollo.